Well, how do we follow the TV maitre d' easily when we have a chef as good as this in the kitchen today? Chef Anthony Ray Hall is here from Cashmere Bistro, and today, get ready, get up very close to your screen of choice, is what I like to say. He is going to be delighting us by preparing gin and ginger shrimp. Good morning. Hey, good morning, sir. How are you? I am well, and it's nice to have you here. It's actually nice to be here. Take Thanks. us through the ingredients, because this is going to be tremendous. And it's going to be awesome. So we got olive oil, we got soy sauce, we got shrimp, kosher salt, black pepper, garlic, ginger, gin, scallions, tomatoes, and to garnish it, we're gonna be garnishing it with microgreens. Look at that right there. Those colors just popping, vibrant right off the screen. Uh, for you, sir, let's talk about uh, Cashmere Bistro as we set the scene for what we're gonna be doing here this morning. Not open just yet, but you have a big opening coming up. Big opening is coming up February 3rd. We're located at the Ramada Inn in Seekonk. Everyone knows where that is. Everyone knows where that is Classic right here. landmark. Classic landmark, old Johnson Wales Inn, so I hope everyone can come check us out February 3rd. Absolutely. So mark your calendars, guys. And uh, the gin and ginger shrimp, is this going to be uh, one of the hot menu items? Is this something that you uh, devised? Where did this uh, come from? Uh, so this dish is actually a specialty dish of mine. It is on our menu, but we have a twist on the menu. So we're going to do it our way here today. But when you guys come in the menu, in the restaurant, you'll see it the new way. Well, I can't wait to sample it, and we're going to work all the flavors around. And what I like to say is, is I, I, I'm predicting that it's going to be a taste explosion. It's going to be awesome. You guys are going <laughs> to love it. It's going to be awesome. And you, sir, come with a, a great background, and you were, he was telling me, here's a little inside information. You're a chef. Your sisters are... My Both my sisters are servers. Are servers. I'm a host. We could open our own place. We could. How good does that sound? That sounds great. But we don't need our own we place don't need because it. we want people to check out Cashmere Bistro. This is the man, Chef Anthony Ray Hall. He'll be here all morning long. You don't want to miss the preparation of the gin and ginger shrimp. Back to you. We want to send things back into the kitchen. Right, Michaela, ready? take it away. Yeah, we are ready, oh, Chef awesome. Anthony. Here we go. He's, he's ready for the toss right now. We're laughing because every time we're saying gin and ginger shrimp, I just have Snoop Dogg in the back of my head saying, eating that ginger shrimp. I'm glad that you have a song stuck in your head, Michaela. It's awesome. It's really, but you know what? Whatever, you can sing along as you're cooking. Have it an have a enjoyable fun. experience. Cooking is a lot of fun. Cooking is a lot of fun. So while, you, while we're on your break, uh, we already seasoned our shrimp with salt and pepper. Mm -hmm. We heated up the oil with the gin, uh, with the garlic and the ginger yeah. so basically now what we're going to do is we're going to drop the shrimp in the pan and we're ginger cook. and garlic go well together oh yeah, it does go wonderful okay. Flavors I like both go well. ingredients but I don't think I think to pair them well, when together you, at home when you try it later mm -hmm. you'll, you'll let me know All how right. you like it right. I trust you I hope so I trust myself too mm, you, have you been doing this for a while have you, has cooking always been in your blood I've been doing this since I was 13 years old oh, I've been wow. cooking for a very very long time mm -hmm. seems like it yeah but uh it's been a great experience for me. I bet. I've learned a lot. I've challenged myself every day to do different things, to new, to learn new things, to you can try be new really things. Really creative too. You can be I mean, really creative. Great about cooking. I know baking is kind of a science. You oh, have I to be particular about certain things. But when you bake. cook a little of this, a little of that. Oh, I don't bake. Baking is not my forte. <laughs> but this clearly is. We're already getting some beautiful color on the shrimp there. So if I were you, I would stand back a little bit. All right. We're gonna get a flame here. Just a little bit. Ooh, feel the heat. Yeah. <laughs> so basically, you just want to cook that down. Okay. All right. You want to reduce that just a little bit. Mm -hmm. That's where you want to add your tomatoes. It smells great. Your scallions. It really kicks up those flavors too once you add the tomatoes. Your soy sauce. So because you added the soy sauce, an ingredient that has a lot of salt to it, you don't need to overly salt this. You don't want to overly salt it. Right. Just, you can use low sodium soy sauce. Mm -hmm. I prefer to use regular soy sauce, but we have low sodium available as well. Yeah. Just to. You can always add more. You, you can always really add more. You really away, can't right? take it away. Because <laughs> soy sauce is something that you really have to be very careful with. Because mm -hmm. you don't want something really salty and but whatnot. But the flavor of it is great. You're gonna, you're gonna really love the flavor once we get it all ready to go. And look at that. The shrimp will pretty much tell you when it's done because it'll turn the, the appropriate color which is nice Correct. you're seeing it happen right before your eyes so you know this is a dish that you can definitely achieve and make for yourself at home we'll talk more about the restaurant and finish this dish when we come back we're back in the roadshow kitchen darren who's the gm of cashmere bistro not too far from us 
uh, is joining us in the Roadshow Kitchen. We've got some gin and ginger shrimp that we already put mm -hmm. together. Thanks for being here today. You're welcome. Thank Thanks for having great. us. Yeah, good to have you here. So tell us about the restaurant because you're, you're like two minutes from us. Yeah, here. we're right up the street. Uh, mm -hmm. We're at, on, at 213 Taunton Ave at the old uh, Johnson & Wales Inn, mm -hmm. the Ramada Seaconk. We um, have done a lot of remodeling and we're excited to bring something back to that space. Right. Uh, we're going with a modern American cuisine. Uh, it's going to be an upscale bistro and tavern. Mm -hmm. um, we have a fabulous cocktail menu that we've developed with some of our purveyors. A lot of fr fresh, bold, simple flavors, mm -hmm. new takes on old classics. So, you know, we have a, a bacon jam uh, filet, some uh, Ooh, ro awesome. oven roasted chicken, and Chef has worked really hard to com combine new poppy flavors that mm -hmm. are just simple, fresh, but yet uh, give you those classics that you look for. Right. Yeah, it sounds like a little of everything, and even the dish that um, he whipped up today, the like Asian-inspired flavors yep. working in there too, so a little something for every palate. Absolutely, so you know, we have a little something for every palate, from mm -hmm. a kid's menu to uh, burgers and sandwiches to, you know, steaks and higher-end entrees as well. Yep. Right. Yeah, even a good spot to grab like apps and drinks apps and too. cocktails, yep. absolutely. We have an amazing uh, specialty cocktail menu that we've come up with. Uh, we have uh, espresso um, peanut butter martini. Sounds uh, good. It's Ooh. absolutely delicious. Yeah, really um, we were just talking about our love of we peanut were, yeah, butter earlier yeah, in the so show. Yeah. It's made with a phenomenal new product that's on the market, and uh, I'm excited about it. Uh, it's one of my favorites on the specialty cocktail menu. Awesome. Um, so I'm excited to share it with our guests when we open on February 3rd. So is it also fun putting together this, this menu and kind of showing everybody what you guys have and taste testing and saying, <laughs> okay, we got this right, let's try something else too? <laughs> yeah, the so taste testing is probably the best. Yeah, yeah, so we've done a lot of taste testing over the last couple of weeks and a yeah. couple of days you know we've been training the staff it's been a nice a, a fun journey for uh, chef Anthony and myself to mm -hmm. develop this concept and uh, it's been a lot of work and uh, yeah. but it's been a lot of fun um, it's something that every restaurateur uh, chef owner manager mm -hmm. aspires to be able to do and we're excited to get this journey on the road at February 3rd yeah you know, so we, just a couple weeks away yeah a week and a half away and we'll be grand opening yeah we yeah. were talking with Joe just a little while Josito and just saying how hard it is to get a restaurant up and going mm -hmm. and also a lot of folks I mean it's a lot of work and you really do put your heart and soul oh, you into do. it you bleed into it you right. know you you put everything that you have into it everything from mm -hmm. you know dealing with local government to you know building menus and costing them out and yeah. all of that type of stuff so yeah there's a lot that goes into it in the background getting right. the right equipment in the kitchen yeah, I, mean, I don't think people right. understand right. Yeah, that before that food gets to your plate there's yeah, a lot the of process. a lot of work that goes into it, you know. And Chef Anthony was just saying, you know, like Darren's put me through the ringer, but you know, <laughs> well, you have to, right? Yeah, keep everyone in line. Make sure you're, you're definitely going to open in February. I know he's, he's really proud of this dish here. So tell us about this this one we have here again. So this is gin and ginger shrimp. Yep. Um, it's one of our chef specialties. Uh, we have a variation of this on our menu. Uh, we're excited to share with you in a couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. And uh, so he sauteed is gin, uh, shrimp with gin, ginger, garlic, a uh, little bit of scallions and tomatoes, and it's an awesome, fresh, bold, mm -hmm. simple flavor. That's great. So you have to, everybody have to go and check you out. So where uh, are you again? 213 Taunton Ave, inside yeah. the Ramada, just through the lobby, you'll find Cashmere Beach Road and Tavern. That's great. Awesome. Good, good, lo good Looking location. Looking forward to it. A little food, Close little by. drink. <laughs> Absolutely. Wishing you the best of and luck. And easy on, easy off the highway, too. Absolutely. Which is also mm. nice yeah. yeah, which is really yeah. nice, too. Very Excellent. good point. Excellent. All right, well, you can find this recipe at roadshow.com. Enjoy.